these four-day-old young in Francois Paquette's Quebec tree swallow nest box are being fed by both their parents. Here the male guards the box, waiting for the female to return. When she arrives, she quickly feeds one being nestling, which promptly produces a fecal sac. The female grabs and eats the small fecal sac, exits, and the male returns for more guard duty. Here's another clip of four-day-old tree swallow nestlings. This time, the male is the one bringing food, but the process is the same. Food in one begging mouth, and a fecal sac is produced. However, it's hard to tell if the male ate the sac or took it out of the box. It's early morning of day five for the nestlings. The female broods them, then reaches down into the nest and retrieves a huge fecal sac. This one gets removed for dumping away from the nest box. We're at six days now. You can clearly see how the young are growing, but unfortunately you can't hear how their begging calls have gotten louder as they've grown. Have you noticed how the adults stand at the side of the cup to feed? The female, after feeding, is looking for a fecal sac. She knows it's there, but she can't find it. Maybe it's down below. But when the male arrives, she stops looking and exits. For the male, the process is easier because the fecal sac was produced in plain sight. He eats it, looks around, and then goes to the entrance to wait for the female to come back. These young are now seven days old and have grown so much they cover most of the floor of this rather small box. You'll notice when the adult comes in it only feeds one young. This is the rule for tree swallows. One young gets fed each visit, but it's not just one insect per feeding. Usually, it's a whole ball of small insects. It's called a bolus. And a bolus could contain as many as 20 insects at a time. This female was looking for a fecal sac down below the nestlings. Ones deposited down there can be tough to find. She digs and she digs, but she can't seem to find the sac. Why all the effort to find and dispose of fecal sacs? Their removal must make the nest more sanitary with fewer potentially harmful germs. Plus, sac removal must reduce the nest smells that could attract predators like raccoons. She's going to give up looking for the fecal sac and go to the entrance to wait for her relief. And when it doesn't arrive immediately, she leaves to hunt for food. And the nestlings are going to have to wait for the next delivery. The male has an easier time.
when he arrives. He feeds quickly. A sack is produced in plain sight. He grabs it and he leaves. This clip of nine day old young shows how the feeding pace increases as the young get larger. The efforts of both female and male will be needed if these six young are to reach fledging strong and healthy. If only one parent fed, the young's growth and development would suffer. At 10 days, it's more of the same. Did you notice that back when the nestlings were small, the adults often ate their fecal sacs, perhaps to obtain nourishment from partly digested food? Well, these young are producing large sacs now, and the adults haven't been eating them for several days. In this last clip, we're at nestling day 12. There's hardly any place for the adults to stand when they come to feed, but on top of the nestlings. And rather than waste a lot of time searching for hidden fecal sacs, the parents often just leave to hunt more insects. Have you happened to notice how young that have just been fed sometimes back out of the nest cup as far as they can and deposit their fecal sac up on the box side? We presume this is for sanitation. Over the course of a full nesting season, the walls of this box will become plastered with this whitewash. 